Hey, my laptop's broken. It's not starting off. Is there anything you can do for me? Yeah, sure. Let me take a look. Do you want me to reformat this for you? Actually, no. I need the files on there because my project's due tomorrow. Oh, okay. That's totally fine. What I have here is a Linux USB. I can boot into Linux and get your file even without starting Windows. So let's take a look. Okay. I'm going to turn this on and then I'm going to choose go into your boot uh, settings. I'm going to put it so that your USB is number one above your hard drive, so boot from the USB. So let's restart. Okay, right now we're booting into Linux. Okay. Okay, so we can actually access your files from Linux. Do you, I have this external hard drive that we can put your files onto. And there you go. You have all your files now. I can reformat your computer without um, damaging any of your hard, without damaging any of your files. Okay. There you go. Yay. <laughs> hey. So first, we start by um, plugging in our USB. Mine's called Jazzy's Jazzy Zazzy J, and I reformat it to FAT32. It's just a good policy to reformat in case you have any files on there. You do lose all your files when you reformat, so be careful. Next, I'll go to the Linux Live program that I downloaded. Um, you can download this online by searching Linux Live and just download the tool. I'll double click on it to install, and um, it extracts a file for you. I go into the folder, and I run the Linux Live USB creator. So the Linux Live USB Creator is actually a really powerful tool. It has a really good interface and is able to work with uh, many different uh, editions of Linux, such as Fedora or Ubuntu. Um, first, I select the USB that I just reformatted, which is called Jazzy J. With this program, you can actually um, install Linux, have a Linux ISO either on a CD or on a place on a hard drive. In my case, I already downloaded it from um, from online. So if you didn't have it, you can actually have the option of download the program downloading online for you. And there's several different <coughs> you can choose from. So right now it's um, actually creating, making it so that it's reading the file and making sure it's the right one and um, so that we can put it onto your USB. And this will be the version that your USB will use. Um, so another thing called persistence. This means that you can actually access your you can actually save files onto your USB and save your settings. So it won't be a new, new thing each time. Once you save your settings, persistence allows you to um, continue using those settings. I choose to not enable launching the Excite with Windows. That's more, of, that's more of a thing that you can um, run um, Linux as a virtual machine on your Windows, which I generally don't use because I prefer something like a dual boot. And with this USB, you can create, you can do a lot of uh, cool things with it. Hey, thank you for fixing my laptop last time. Actually, I'm interested more of uh, how the program works. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so what I have is a bootable USB with Linux on it that I use uh, Linux Live to create. What you can do with a bootable USB is you can plug it in, and on this USB, there's actually persistence mode, which means that you can actually save files and data and all your settings on the USB itself. So you have a portable Linux no matter which computer you go to. Another great way that you can use a USB is you can actually install Linux straight from the USB. So when I boot into Linux, like I did last time, you can see that I have an option to install Ubuntu. You can also do this with Linux Live using Fedora and um, many other different distros. So let's see, if you want to install Linux on your computer, we can install it right now. OK, sure. That sounds great. So now that I have installed Linux on your computer, you can the boot menu is now Grub. You can change it back to the Windows MBR by rewriting the master boot file. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you'd like to know? Um, no, that's it. Thank, Thank you. you.